Good day everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. My name is Holy Kimchi. Today we're doing top 10 facts about Park Shi Yun. Number 1. Park Mi Yun was born in Busan, South Korea. As a child, Park displayed a talent for singing, saying, When I was young, I used to be shy that I cry when I was told to sing in front of my dad on the Lunar New Year. My mom ended up sending me to the singing academy, hoping it would help me get over my shyness. But the strange thing is that I couldn't sing in front of my mom but I wasn't nervous at all on stage. In 1990, the 5th grader won the top prize in a children's music contest on KBS. Number two, Park began attending college in the USA in 1998, majoring in journalism at Long Island University. In 2000, she took a leave of absence from school and entered in the regional Miss Seoul Beauty pageant, placing third, followed by the Miss Korea pageant. Number three, though her parents initially opposed her pursuing acting, Park took profile pictures of herself and went to various talent agencies. Her profile photos were eventually handed over to a Chinese agency and several auditions later, this led to Park making her acting debut in China. Using the stage name Park shi Yun, she appeared in small roles in three CCTV dramas and also landed an advertising contract with cosmetic company Embrani. Number 4 In 05, Park made her acting debut in her native country, South Korea, with the SBS TV drama My Girl, for which she received unanimously bad reviews. But Park continued to work, appearing in more dramas and making her debut in the 06 crooked comedy horror musical The Fox Family. Gradually, her acting showed marked improvements, at first constantly struggling to memorize her lines. Number 5. She became known for playing women who drove men to their destruction and misfortune. In the gangster film A Love, the lover of Park's character goes to prison after protecting her. In the MEC drama La Dolce Vita, she was a gold digging mistress with the lonely soul. In spy parody Hachima Oli, she was a sexy agent and in the KBS drama The Slingshot, she sacrifices herself and becomes the enemy's possession in exchange for her boyfriend's freedom. Park said, I personally don't like femme fatale. Men should be happy because of women, not unhappy. Number 6. In 09, she joined the variety show Family Outing, which features comedians and entertainers dealing with various aspects of natural life. But Park had to leave after 6 months due to a recurrent injury she sustained while filming a previous project. Number 7. The series Coffee House was a welcome change for her. After having mainly taken on serious or dark characters, Park said she had been dying to be in a romantic comedy. Describing Park as extremely kind, director Pyo Min Su said he incorporated her real life personality in writing her character, a bright, cheerful, and caring woman who at the same time is hard working, frank, and confident. Park said, honestly, this is the first time working has been this fun. Number 8. In 2010, US-based Korean fashion company Moim Style announced that Park will be the creative director of the US fashion brand, Touch. As creative director, she oversaw the entire planning process from design to distribution to production of the brand's celebrity fashion line. The celeb line that she handled includes the brands Tool, Ananda 213, and NK2K. Number 9. She then started in the middle drama The Innocent Man, playing a woman who betrays her lover to serve her own ambition and puts him on the path to destructive revenge. Critics have credited Park's mature performance, saying she mastered the character's complicated nature in a way that heightened the tension of the story and was not overshadowed by the leading actors Sung Joon Ki and Moon Chae Won. Number 10. After giving birth and being indicted for purposeful use in 2013, Park returned to television with a 2014 cable drama, The Greatest Marriage, in which a character struggles to balance single motherhood and a successful career as an anchor woman. Extra! In 2015, she made her Hollywood debut in Last Night, an action film set in the medieval times about a band of warriors who seek revenge on a corrupt emperor. She starred alongside Clive Owen, Morgan Freeman, and Korean veteran actor An Sung Ki, with Japanese director Kazuaki Kiriya. Filming took place in the Czech Republic. Thanks for watching everyone, my name is Willi Kimchi, don't forget to leave some comments down below, tell me what you thought about these facts or anything else, let me know in the comment section below, subscribe, like and share, as always, don't forget to click those next and previous videos, it always helps me out a lot when you do that, and as always, my name is Willi Kimchi, this has been today's video, until next time everybody, have a great day, bye bye.